Sam and Amber, one day after our story aired about Jerry Price dying from a drug overdose, one person was arrested, and then a couple days later, a second person was arrested. Both of those people are now charged with abusing Price's corpse and tampering with evidence. 34-year-old Jerry Price died from a drug overdose earlier this year. I think all the time, what could have been different? In early September, Price's mother sat down with WKYT to talk about why she was upset. They just drove him around. They drove him from Berea back into Rockcastle County. They drove him for three or four hours and him like that. Mm -hmm. If they would have took, took the time just to drop him out, at the hospital. David Spoonamore and Morgan Dixon now each face charges. Court documents say in July, Price overdosed in Berea, and then for three to four hours, Spoonamore and Dixon drove him around, never stopping to get him help. And he was laying curled up in the back seat. Police tell us it's likely up to three hospitals were passed where Price could have potentially received some help, but he never got that help. Court documents say witnesses saw Price's body being dragged before they dropped him off at home. His body was found in the back of his minivan. I know he'd done the drugs, but they took the choice away from him when they didn't try to get him help. Now, there is a law in Kentucky called the Good Samaritan Law that actually would have protected the suspects here, Dixon and Spoonamore, if they would have taken Jerry Price to a hospital. Now, that law says people who witness an overdose can get help for the victim without facing any punishment if they are in possession of a small amount of drugs or paraphernalia. At the live desk, Monique Blair, WKYT.